Hello, welcome to solve this mathematical problem, which is a square minus b square, which is equal to 36, which is equation 1, and also a times b, which is equal to 6, which is also equation 2, find the value of a plus b, and a different from 0, and also b is different from 0. So, solution... From equation 1, we have a square minus b square, which is equal to 36. So, the first step to solve this problem is let's square both sides. Square on both sides. And then, we know that from algebraic expression, a square minus b square is equal to a square minus 2 times of AB plus B square. So let's apply this one into this equation. And this equation will be A square square minus 2 times of A square B square plus B square the power of 2, which is equal to 36 square. Now, for, for this one and for this one, from property of exponent, a power of m, power of n, is same as a power of m times n. So applying this one, a square power of 2 will be a power of 4, minus for this one for this one we know that a power of n times b the power of n is the same as a b the power of n so a power of 4 minus 2 times of a square b square will be a b power of 2 plus b is the power of 4 which is equal to 36 power of 2. Now, A, let's take this one into the right hand side. A is the power of 4 plus B is the power of 4 is equal to 36 power of 2 plus this will be plus 2 times of A, B, power of 2. Now, we have AB from equation 2. AB is equal to 6 from equation 2. So, A power of 4 plus B power of 4 which is equal to 36 power of 2 plus 2 times AB that is 6 power of 2. So this will be a power of 4 plus b power of 4, which is equal to 36 power of 2 plus 2 times 36. 6 square will be 36. Then a power of 4 plus b power of 4, which is equal to, we have 36. So we can factor out 36 into 36 plus 2. So, finally, a power of 4 plus b is a power of 4, which is equal to 36 times 38. Let's say this is equation 3. Now, from algebraic expression, a square plus b square, the so whole square will be a is a power of 4 plus b is a power of 4 plus 2 times of a square b square. So this a square plus b square power of 2 which is equal to this a4 plus b4 from equation 3 will be 36 times 38 plus 2 times of a b which is 
a b square so a square plus b square power of 2 which is equal to 36 times 38 plus 2 times a b from equation 2 which is 6 power of 2 then a square plus b square power of 2 which is equal to 36 times 38 plus 2 times of 36 so we have 36 in common so a square plus b square power of 2 which is equal to 36 into 38 plus 2 so this will be so a square plus b square power of 2 which is equal to 36 times 40 so from here we can find a square plus b square so by introducing the square root on both sides of the equation so this square root will cancel this square so a square plus b square which is equal to plus or minus the square root of 36 times 40 so this can be the square root of a b can be written as the square root of a times the square root of b so applying this rule a square plus b square which is equal to plus or minus the square root of 36 times the square root of 40 so a square plus b square which is equal to plus or minus 6 times this 40 will be 4 times 10 which gives plus or minus 6 times 2 the square root of 10 then a square plus b square which is equal to plus or minus 12 the square root of 10 so from here we have two values that's a square plus b square which is equal to plus 12 square root of 10 which is equation let's say equation a and also a square plus b square which is equal to minus 12 the square root of 10 so let's say is this is equation b so a square plus b square here will be positive and this 12 will be positive and from here a square plus b square is positive but this one is negative so this will be rejected so from a square plus b square which is equal to 2 12 the square root of 10. so let's say this is equation 4 so from algebraic expression a square plus b square a plus sorry a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two times of a b so a plus b square which is equal to a square plus b square will be 12 the square root of 10 plus 2 times of AB is 6 from equation 2 so A plus B the so whole square which is equal to 12 the square root of 10 plus 12 so we have 12 in common so we can factor out it AB square which is equal to 12 into the square root of 10 plus 1 so let's introduce the square root, of, root on both sides so this will be cancelled and the remaining one is a plus b which is equal to the square root of 12 into the square root of 10 plus 1 so a plus b which is equal to this 12 can be written as 4 times 3 the square root of 10 plus 1 
so a plus b which is equal to this 4 will be plus or minus 2 the square root of 3 into the square root of 10 plus 1 so our final solution for a plus b will be a plus b which is equal to 2 the square root of 3 into the square root of 10 plus 1 and a b a plus b which is equal to minus 2 the square root of 3 into the square root of 10 plus 1 will be the final solutions of the given equation thank you very much for watching have a nice time bye bye